tell me what is investment appraisal? Uh, investment appraisal is basically uh, you're using investment appraisal techniques to know if it's worthwhile to invest in a particular project or no. And what are the techniques for investment appraisal? Uh, there are four. So accounting, uh, rate of return. Then uh, there is payback period, there's net present value, and there is internal rate of return. So today we will learn the fourth technique of appraising an investment. Uh, wherein mm -hmm. you choose internal rate of return. Now, what is internal rate of return? Internal rate of return is basically, it is that rate of return where your cash inflow, but the discounted cash inflow. Can you tell me what is the meaning of discounted cash inflow? Um, Basically, you're getting a discount on... um. You, you've given a discount on your uh, to your trade receive uh, sorry yeah trade receive by discounted cash inflow mm, discounted cash inflow is the present value of future inflow okay correct so basically yeah. you have your cash inflow for your one, two, three, four, you will multiply it with the discount factor and you will get the present value of future inflow or I could say your discounted cash inflow. What will I say? This is your discounted cash inflow. So IRI mm -hmm. is basically that rate of return where your sum of the discounted cash inflow, that means one, two, three, four, whatever you've got, it is equal to your discounted cash outflow. Okay, it is that rate of return where your NPV, that means your net present value, is zero. Can you tell me what is the meaning of net present value? Oh, uh, net present value means the um present value. Of the future receipts less the um few uh sorry the current payments present value of current the outflow minus the inflow at the present value right yeah yeah that NPV hmm. is basically your outflow minus the inflow at the present value so IRR hmm. is basically that rate of return where your NPV is zero hmm. okay that means your outflow will be equal to your inflow yeah Outflow means your discounted cash outflow will be equal to your discounted cash inflow. If your outflow hmm. is equal to your inflow, that means your NPV will be zero. So internal hmm. rate of return will give you that percentage at which you will have zero NPV. Okay, fine. So internal rate of return gives you that percentage or I would say it gives you that rate of return on your investment where the NPV gives present value of future receipts minus the present value of future outflow, it will be zero. Now, how do you use yeah. this IRR to take a decision? Okay. So IRR is basically compared with the company's present return on capital employed. Tell me the rate of IRR. At IRR, your NPV will be how much? Zero. At IRR, your NPV will be zero. So anything that you are receiving above the IRR, what you should do? Above the IRR. Oh, you will accept the project. Suppose your internal rate of return is 8%. Okay? 8% mm -hmm. is that value or that discount factor at which you will discount your inflow and outflow. You will get NPV equal to 0. Mm, if your yeah. project is giving you anything above 8%, 
If your project mm -hmm. is giving you anything above eight percent, it automatically means that you will receive a positive NPV. Hmm. Okay. If your project is giving you anything above eight percent, you should accept the project. If you are getting anything below the IRR, then you should reject the project. That means to do a project, at least you should be equal to your IRR. Okay? Yeah, yeah, miss. Yeah. So what at IRR, what happens? Okay, so at IRR, uh, your um, uh, basically you see uh, uh, that the sum of the discounted cash inflow should be equal to the uh, discounted cash outflow yes. and your NPR it will happen and, okay yeah and uh, huh, uh, at IRR your NPV should be zero it will be zero it at will IRR, be zero yeah NPV will, your NPV will be zero so whichever uh, like if there are two projects whichever has like an uh, higher IRR you will choose that if a project is giving you more than your IRR, okay? At IRR, your NPV is zero. When NP is negative, do you accept the project? When NPV is negative, no, you do not. When NP is negative, you do not accept the project. When NP is zero, you will look at other mm -hmm. options, right? At IRR, what happens? It's zero, NPV zero. NPV is zero. So anything that is giving you above the IRR, that means it is automatically giving you a positive NPV? Yeah, yes. So anything that is giving you above your IRR, you should accept the project. If it is giving you below your IRR, what you should do? You should reject it. You should reject the project. So at IRR, your NPV will become how much? At IRR, your NP will be zero. At IRR, your NPV will be zero. So your inflows and outflow, when you are going to discount it at IRR, your NPV will automatically become how much? Um, one second. If your project is giving you less than your IRR, then what will you do? You will reject. You will reject the project. If it is giving you more than your IRR, then what will you do? You will accept. You will accept the project. Now, there are some steps that you use to calculate your IRR. What is the step yeah. you use to calculate your IRR? Okay. Step one is that you will select two discounting rates, any two discounting rates, which are very far away from each other. One discounting factor should give you a positive NPV and one discounting factor should give you a negative NPV. So you will select two rates. What will you select? Two rates. Oh. When you discount your inflow minus outflow at one percentage, at one discount factor, you should get a positive NPV. And the other mm -hmm. rate should give you a negative NPV. NPV is what? Outflow minus inflow at the present value. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You don't have to think too much. It will be mentioned in the question. They will give you two columns of two discount factor and you have to use that only. Mm, fine. When you discount it with one percentage, it will give you a positive NPV, and with the other, it will give you a negative NPV. Then you okay. will calculate the NPV for each of these two discount rates. So, say you have a discount rate at eight percent, and you have a discount rate at ten percent, or mm -hmm. eight percent and sixteen percent. So, you will calculate the NPV at those two discount rates. What is the criteria? Uh, N NPV is... To a positive NPV, others should give you a negative NPV. Negative, yeah. Okay, then you will find the IRR. That means you are interpolating uh, the percentage that will give you an NPV which is equal to zero. 
okay you are finding yeah. a between percentage that will give you a zero ending how do you find irr it is t p capital p is the rate that is giving you a positive ending it is the rate okay okay plus big bracket small bracket n minus t what is capital n capital n is the rate that is going to give you a negative npv okay the rate i am talking it is the rate that is going to give you a negative npv minus hmm. p capital p is the rate that is going to give you a positive npv and close the bracket i'm repeating the formula again capital p plus big bracket small bracket n minus p close the small bracket can you please repeat it yeah. um p plus um Big capital bracket, n small bracket n minus yeah. p close the small bracket can you please repeat it capital p plus big bracket small bracket capital n minus capital p um into a uh, small p upon small close oh. the small bracket capital p is the rate that is going to give you a positive and capital n is the rate that is going to give you a negative and okay multiply yeah. by p upon p plus n now what is p p is the positive value of your n baby whatever amount you are getting hmm. and small n is the negative and baby that you getting so multiplied by p upon p plus n this will give you your irr small p and small n is the value of your what is it is the value of your oh small p and small n is the value of the net present value it is the value of your the net present value okay now let's uh, do it with one example You have this example where you have NPV at ten percent, fourteen thousand. So ten percent, mm. when you are going to discount your inflows minus outflow at ten percent, you are getting a positive NPV. This is capital P and this is small p. Mm. When you are okay. discounting at eighteen percent, you are getting a negative NPV. When you're discounting at eighteen percent, you're getting a negative NPV. Negative NPV. Calculate IRR. How do you calculate IRR? IRR is equal to. So capital P plus. Open the small. Uh, big bracket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, capital N minus capital P into uh okay. small P upon small P plus N. Uh, yeah. Okay. What is P? Which is the rate which is going to give you a positive NPV? So it is ten. Hmm. N minus P. So it will be eighteen minus. Oh, eighteen minus ten. Ten. Huh? Into, yeah. What is the Number value 14. that gives you a positive P? Fourteen thousand. And it will be. Fourteen thousand minus six thousand. Fourteen thousand minus six thousand. What is the amount that you're getting? Ten plus eight into fourteen thousand upon Can you calculate please? Yeah, yeah, one second. Twenty four. Hmm? Fourteen minus six is how much? Twenty four. I'm getting. How much is fourteen minus six? I'm asking. Eight. So twenty four. So I just put the full thing in the calc. It's twenty four. I am getting something else, but 
How miss? Think, calculate properly. No, sir, just put it in my calci. How can we? Yes. Now look over here. I don't have to use this minus 10,000. I did this on purpose because we would uh, take T plus N and N is the negative uh, 6,000, right? Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to use this minus 6,000. You will just use the value of your negative NPV. You will just use the value of your negative NPV. The value of your negative NPV is 6,000. So you will do 14,000 divided by 20,000. Okay, so 15 upon 6. So 15.6. That would be 10 plus 5.6. So it will be 15.6. And you will just put in 200 over here. So it will be 15.6 percentage. Hmm, fine. Okay, just remember you are just going to put the value of your negative NPV. You are not going to That's put positive. the value hmm. With me? Fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So 15.6% is what? Hmm. Yes. 15.6%. IRR. IRR. That means when you're going to discount your inflow minus outflow at 15.6%, your investment mm -hmm. would have what? If you um, are going to discount your inflow minus outflow at 15.6%, your investment yeah. will have NPV equal to Z. This you have to keep in mind. When discounted at IRR, your NPV will be zero. zero. Okay, mm. fine. So anything that gives you a return above fifteen point six percent, you can invest. Otherwise, yeah. Okay, fine. This is your mid plan. Just to test your understanding, try to do mm. this. Can you read it? Yeah. Um the managers of Care Limited are considering whether or not to invest in a new machine <clears throat> costing nine thousand. Their current cost of capital is twelve percent. They have estimated that the future cash flows using NPV of ten percent will be eight hundred and seventy one point eight eight zero dollars. What is ten percent? Um that's P. Okay, and what is 871.88? Uh, that's small p. Okay. Yeah. And then 15% is uh, um, capital N, and that's small n. Okay. So can you find the IRR for me? Yeah. I'm um, getting 13.5%. Hmm. Yeah, that. Okay. So now listen to me very carefully. You have to show your working. Okay. okay. Your machine is going to give you an internal rate of return of 13.485%. Hmm. Well, okay. as the cost of capital, the money that you are going to spend to buy this mm -hmm. machine is 12%. Yeah. Okay. Your machine is going to give you an IRR of 13.485%. They're going to give you a mm -hmm. return of 13.485%. And at this percentage, your NP mm -hmm. will be zero. Hmm. Okay, so you should invest because the return is more than the cost of capital. Yeah, fine. Internal rate of return is more than the cost of capital. Hmm. If your cost of capital was 18%, then 
then uh, you will not invest uh, you will not because uh, the cost of capital is greater than the I IRR now can you do this sum mm, yeah what do you have to calculate over here you have to calculate the payback period the NPV and the IRR yeah. okay you have to calculate mm. all of this yeah okay Okay. Tell me first for the payback period, what will you do? Um one second. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, so machine for the costing payback how much? period you machine is costing so how much? Four hundred and eighty thousand. So the initial outlay is how much? Uh, mm -hmm. Minus 480,000. Okay, fine. So what do you have to calculate over here? You have to calculate the payback period and they want the payback period in months. So what will mm, you do yeah. this entire table in the oh. same way? First net cash flow you need to know. Okay. So first you'll write negative four hundred four hundred and eighty thousand. And this will be how much? Receipts minus payment. So it will be how much? Uh, one seven. One seventy thousand. Yeah. Then Again, one seventy. Yeah, yeah. Then it will be one. Then it's one thousand. And then miss one ninety. Miss miss it's one ninety for your three. One ninety. Okay. Mm. And then it will. And be... then that's fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Okay. What am I supposed to calculate? The payback. payback period. Now I will find the cumulative net cash flow. Mm, yeah. So it will be now four eighty minus one seventy. Hmm. Uh, three hundred and ten thousand. Yeah. Negative three hundred. Again minus one seventy. Yeah, so one forty negative one forty thousand. Negative one forty thousand. Then, then positive fifty thousand. Minus one ninety. Then hundred thousand. Then hundred thousand. So I would recover it between. Um, your uh, two and three. Your two and three. So mm. when I'm calculating the payback period. So for your one, uh, sorry, for your three. It will be two years two plus. Hmm. It takes me 12 months to earn 190,000. 190, so, yeah. how much for 50,000? 50, 50,000, how many months? So it will be 50,000 50, 50, into. Divided by one ninety thousand. Oh, uh, it's three point one five seven. So four months. Uh, rounded off to. Sorry. It's three point one five seven, but it's you will make it four months. Divided by one ninety thousand. Hmm. Yeah. It's three point five. Just two minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, miss. My cross multiplied now. Hmm. It takes oh. one year. Yeah, I read. 
took a one ninety thousand. Hmm. No, it will take you twelve months to make one ninety thousand. So one fifth one forty thousand you have to recover, right? Yeah. So for one forty thousand, how much? Because you have negative one forty. At the end of mm -hmm. your one forty is still mm -hmm. to be recovered, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, huh? Huh? So eight point eight four, so nine months. So it will be two years plus eight point eight four months. Mm -hmm. So it will be two years plus nine months. But they want everything in months, right? Yeah. So Every plus nine. Twenty four plus nine, which will be thirty three. So it will be thirty three months. Mm, yeah. Now they want you to calculate the NPV. Um, does less than a minute. Okay, no problem. Now they want you to calculate NPV. Mm -hmm. NPV. So again, net cash flow we've already made. Okay. And to that, we need to multiply with the uh, discounting factor. What is the discounting factor? So cost of capital is 10%. So you'll use the 10% discounting factor. Capital is 10%. Mm. So NPV multiplied with the cost of capital. So 10% um, so discounting factor. So for your uh, zero, it will be one. And this will be 0 0.909, 0 0.826. Mm. 0.7 mm -hmm. 